When you are tired and can go no further, come back. But each of you must bring me a twig from the place where you return. Where you turn. Away they all went. You guys can just walk that way just a little bit. Just a little bit for all the way to the Away they all went, full of hope, each feeling certain that he could reach the top of the mountain. Soon the first brave came back. Tiger. He had, he had earned a, he had carried a twig of sagebrush. Well, said the chief, you crossed the desert and reached the foot of the mountain, but you did not quite start the climb. This first brave is like the tiger club, tiger cub who has learned to search, discover, and share, but has not yet begun his climb up the Cub Scout Mountain. The tiger cub's arrow points him in the right direction, and the tiger cub candle lights his way. What did he do? Wow. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> How did that happen? Another, after another hour, the second brave came back. He held out a spray of cottonwood. Good, said the chief. You got as far as the springs. This brave represents the Cub Scout who has earned his wolf badge. He has progressed a short way up the Cub Scout mountain. The wolf arrow points him in the right direction and the wolf candle lights his way. Longer way, and another brave came back with some cedar. The chief smiled when he saw it and spoke, Well done, my boy, you went halfway up. This brave is like the Cub Scout who has progressed halfway up the advancement trail and earned his bear badge. The bear arrow points him in the right direction, and the bear candle lights his way. Later in the afternoon, the next brave returned carrying a branch of pine. To him, the chief said, Good, you went to the third level. You made three quarters of the climb. Keep trying next year. You will doubt, undoubtedly reach the top. A Cub Scout who has earned his Weebelows badge has reached the three-quarter mark up the Cub Scout mountain and is in the sight of the top. The Weebelow's arrow points him in the right direction, and the Weebelow's candle lights his way. The sun was low when the last brave returned. He approached the chief and held up his hand. It was empty, but he was radiant as he spoke. My father, there were no trees where I went. I saw no twigs, no living thing upon the peak. But far and away I saw other mountain peaks, and beyond them the shining sea. Now the old chief's face glowed as he said, I knew it, I knew it when I looked upon your face. You have reached the top. It is written in your eyes and it rings in your voice. My son, you need no twigs for token. You have seen the glory of the mountain. The brave who reached the top is like the Cub Scouts we are honoring tonight. They have reached the highest point in Cub Scouting, the arrow of light. The arrow of light arrow points them in the right direction and the arrow of light candle lights their way. I would like our den lead, Weebelow Den leaders to come forward. Roland, you can have a seat just for a moment. So the Weebelow Den leaders come forward. Wow. Right, would you come up and hand them the, the arrows? Or hand me the arrows and hand sure. it to the den leader. So he'll hand me the arrow and I'll hand it to the den leader. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Scouts who have fulfilled all the requirements for the arrow of light to come. Um, ew, I messed up. 
I'd like you all boys who, who fulfilled all the requirements for the Arab Light to come up and stand right over here next to me. In any order. Straight, straight line. Look good for the, the little ones. All right, and um, when we hand them their flag, their their Arab parents, you can come up and stand with them. So, you get the guy with the big twig. That's how it works. Hunter. 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 Congratulations, and Hunter's parents, you can come on up. Why does he get a cool Scouting. Beyond the top there are peaks of Boy Scout and you must climb to reach the shining sea of adulthood. Now the scouts will light the candles on the arrow of light candlestick. First I would like for the Weeblo leaders to assist in lighting the helper candle, which I've already done, so I can do that. As they've helped you along the path. Now we only have so many candles, so how many candles do we have? Ten people. Ten. Except we have how many boys? I have to make sure we have enough to do this. Two, four, eight, ten. So we'll do two at a time. So guys, um, I'm going to have have you walk back by pairs. And you can together get the candles to Mr. Cutright. If you can help me, you're going to light the candle together. Sorry about the candles. The two of them. Just hold on to the candle. First candle represents wisdom. Having wisdom doesn't mean that a person is smarter than others. It means that he uses what he knows to live a better life. The next 
Ray represents courage. Courage does not mean you have no fear of danger. It means that you can face danger despite your fear. The third ray stands for self-control. Self-control <coughs> means being able to stop when you have had enough of something and being able to choose your own pain, path instead of merely following others. The fourth ray stands for justice. Justice means being fair with others we play and work with regardless of who they are. The fifth ray represents faith. Faith includes belief in God and in things we cannot see but feel are true. The next candle represents hope. Hope means to look forward to good things you believe will happen. You hope for better things tomorrow, but at the same time you work hard today to make them happen. The last candle and the last ray of the sun of the arrow of light symbol stands for love. There are many kinds of love. Love of family, home, fellow men, God, and country. Every kind of love is important for a full and happy life. You will find that living by these seven virtues can lead to 